In this video, I'll be showing you four ways to get rid of a moiré in post-production using DaVinci Resolve. First of all, what is a moiré pattern? The moiré pattern is a Ripley pattern, many times it's colorful, and it seems to flicker and change shape on the image that is projected on a LED wall. If you want to know more about why moiré occurs when you're shooting with an LED wall, and what you can do to diminish or even remove that effect completely during production, we're gonna put up another video soon. So you've done your shoot, and you've still got more wrecking your clips. How can you fix this in post? One, you can blur out the color channels in white prime UV color space. Two, you can blur out the color channels in RGB color space. Three, you can use the chromatic aberration removal tool. And four, you can use noise reduction. So let's talk about the first method, blurring out the color channels in the white prime UV color space. Let's dive into DaVinci and see what we've got. Make sure you're in the color tab. First of all, we'll make a new node, then select our subject, and then invert the mask in order to apply the moiré removal procedure just on the background. Once this is done, we're going to right-click the node, then go to color space and select the last one, the white prime UV color space. So let's pause here for a second. What's this white prime UV thing? This is a color encoding system, which defines a color space in terms of a luminance component, which is white prime, that is to say the brightness of a color, and two chrominance components. U and V, that is to say, the color itself. So, luminance is the physical, linear space brightness, the brightness that the human eye perceives. Y prime denotes luma and differs from Y because it includes the gamma correction, is the nonlinear brightness. Back to Da Vinci. We click the blur button and play with the radius and HV ratio settings. I separated the RGB channels so that I can adjust them separately in an attempt to use the minimum amount of blur necessary in order to remove the moiré. You don't need to necessarily do that, you can keep the channels linked together if you want. After we're finished, we can go ahead and apply a bit of sharpening on the resulting image. For this particular image, I'm going to increase the contrast and make the image more blue in order to get rid of that reddish tint. Here is the final result. Let's look at another clip that was processed using the same technique so you can see how Mare reduction impacts a higher resolution background video. The second method, blur out the color channels in the RGB color space. If you don't want to change the color space and stay in RGB, you have to create a couple of nodes to separate the image in the Y prime plus RGB channels. We right click and add a new serial node and then right click on it and press add layer node. We select the upper node then go to the RGB mixer and tick the monochrome box. And voila, we've created our Y prime luma layer. Then for the bottom layer, we go to the color wheel and from the drop down menu, select bars. In the game setting, minimize the luma setting. Now we're just left with the chroma channels. I don't know if you can see this, but we've still got some information. A bit of red where our character is and faint red lines where our moiré is. On the resulting node, we now go to composite mode and press add. Then, while we're still on the bottom node, we go to blur and do the same things we did in the previous method. Once we're done, we can go to the upper node where we can add our sharpening effects. Here I've increased the mid detail and pulled down the radius setting in the blur menu. If you go lower than the default 0.5 value, it will sharpen your image instead of blurring it. The third method, use the chromatic aberration removal tool. With the library button selected in the upper right corner, just type in chromatic and then drag and drop the chromatic aberration removal effect on your node. You can then play around with the setting in the advanced tab. I don't think it worked in this case. Maybe I can see a slight improvement in the encircled area, 
but it's still worth giving it a go with other images, I think, since it's a very fast tool to use. And four, the last method, using noise reduction. Go to the library and drag and drop the noise reduction effect on your nodes. Then go to the spatial threshold and increase the chroma value, leaving the luma value at zero. Increasing the luma will make your image look very blurry. Again, you can then go on and sharpen the resulting image a bit if you want. I think this method yielded very good results too. Here you have it guys, how to remove lead wall moiré, or any type of moiré actually, from your footage in DaVinci Resolve's color tab in four different ways. Thanks for watching and see you next time.